y is equal to 12, uh, 12.91. And we want to uh, take that and have, when it gets to negative 42, or negative 41.75, we want that to equal 1. So how do we do that? How do we go about doing something like that? Well, it's pretty easy. Um, first of all, uh, this is going in the negative direction. And the uh, attribute that we're driving, we want to go in the positive direction. So the first thing we can do um, is just uh, put some parentheses around this attribute. And let's just say multiply by negative 1. Um, so mm -hmm. that, that, and we hit edit. And what that's going to do is it's going to make this negative value become a positive value. Okay, so that's step one. So then we want to use a math function. And there's a couple math functions that we could use. Um, a lot of them are in here. And you can see uh, that, you know, there's these things, math functions. Um, and uh, we want to use a curve function. And we're going to use a smooth step. And what smooth step will do is it'll take the values and it'll normalize them between 0 and 1. And so, uh, you know, you may not know how to use a uh, smooth step. Um, but you can look down here in float smooth step. So smooth step returns a float over here, it returns a value. And you can see float start, float end, and then float parameter. So our parameter is the current one that's currently actively changing. So we're going to put that in at the end. Okay. And we're going to put the first two values are going to be 0, comma. And the second value is going to be 41.75, comma. So now that smooth step function, what it's going to do is it's going to take 0, and it's going to take 41.75, and internally it's going to mathematically create a function, sort of like a power function, that goes from 0 to 1 smoothly using this value as its lookup. So if I hit edit, you'll see that our problem is fixed. And you'll see at 41.75, this attribute is equal to 1. And what will happen is as I rotate this back, it will become 0. And so using an expression and a smooth step function is another way that you can control an attribute value. Um, now, uh, you can also get more tricky and, uh, and take this smooth step and start multiplying it by other values. Um, you can use other math functions in the expression editor to clamp and ceiling and floor and noise and uh, use vector functions and all kinds of stuff. But this is a good place to start. So basically, uh, we've, I've shown you two ways to, I've shown you how to rig a jaw joint. Um, I've shown you uh, kind of the, the techniques that you use to paint the weights and the anatomically driven motivation uh, for, for creating an attribute that you would want to drive. And then I've shown you two typical and common ways that a TD would drive those attributes using one channel to drive another attribute channel in order to blend on a rigged effect. That's, uh, that's about it for this TD College Tech Byte. I hope you enjoyed and, uh, and learned something from that. And, uh, you know, feel free to check out our courses and, um, you know, just keep having fun. All right, thanks a lot.